Now at six, a local nonprofit giving dogs a second chance, hit by a major theft of a trailer full of kennels. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Brady. Now that trailer was meant to transport rescue dogs up north. The group says for a chance to be adopted, but this theft has only put the group in a real bind. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker explains the problem. We had a small trailer full of kennels that we use for transport and holding foster dogs. Dr. Emily Baston is a veterinarian for Bear County. She and Lauren Berrios run Hand Me Down Hounds, which works closely with the Kirby Bear Animal Facility. Bear County allows the rescue to use the space to house the dogs. Without them letting us use the facility, I don't, don't think we'd be able to make the transfer as often as possible. Last week, Wednesday, we were working on a dog doing surgery um, until around 9, 9.30 at night. This is the dog they were working on, a Great Pyrenees named Winston. He was hit by a car and needed a partial leg amputation. But they say that night is when a Christmas Grinch got his or her paws on something that wasn't theirs. Those that work at the shelter say that the thieves were able to get through these gates by breaking off a lock similar to this one, swiping the trailer that was full of kennels. The trailer was found this afternoon but had to be towed. What wasn't found were the dozens of kennels inside. The kennels that were stolen were used for dogs to just hang out at. To hang out in before their journey to Wisconsin where they'll find new homes. They're still leaving Saturday, but it is a little bit harder to not have to last minute find kennels for them to be put in. We are a small rescue. Um, we're non for we're nonprofit, um, so we have to raise all the funds that we have, and we had a lot of the kennels donated, so we kind of have to start from scratch there. You can help them out with donations by checking out the Hand Me Down Hounds Facebook page and also an Amazon wish list. We have those links on Kens5.com. From the east side of the city, Jeremy Baker, Kens5 Eyewitness News.